is how to build models in cork. Um, but the pieces have all been cut out with a CNC cutter, in this case um, it's with a laser, hence the edges are black. I'm just marking off now the front and the back so that I know exactly where the, the, the walkway of this fortification is going to go. So you can see I, I just put the line on so I can line it up correctly. Um, so that when I come to glue it, I know I've got it in exactly the right place. So this is how it's going to work. The, the walkway is going to be marked so. And I notice that the, the front and the back um, of the wall actually project through and the walkway is in between. So I use the glue gun um, to run a line of glue across one side. You have to be fairly quick because the glue sets very fast. So you want to press it down firmly as soon as you've got it in place before the glue actually dries. And that gives a firm joint quite quickly. Okay, next I'm going to put the front on one of those pieces on that part of the wall. Again, quickly using the glue gun. It's good quality glue. I have tried some cheaper glues, but they just don't work. So it's worth spending a bit of money on the, the right glue for your glue gun. Just press that into place. It quickly adheres. The next piece is going to go next to it. Um, it's it's a small piece that changes direction, but the difficulty is keeping it in place. So I need some kind of backing for it, which is what I'm going to make now. So it has to be the same width as the piece above. So I just mark it off, just trace it through, so it's exactly the same width. Cut it with a craft knife. So it's going to go at the bottom there and it will support the, the lower part of that front wall. Just need to trim off the front piece so it'll fit in. Okay, well that fits. So I can get on with the gluing. So these are extra pieces. These aren't cut by CNC. You've got to cut these yourself, um, but they're quite easy to do. You just line up, mark it off, cut it with a craft knife. The cork is quite easy to cut. Just three or four lines of the knife will cut through. Perhaps even quicker if you've got a sharper knife. A um, bit of glue. Okay, that's the change in direction of the wall. A couple of lines of glue on there. Sometimes the glue gets a bit stringy, but you can just pull the strings off. Um, it's often best to wait until you've, you've finished gluing before you try and get rid of all those strings, because if you spend too much time before you uh, press the piece down, the glue's gone hard, and then you've got to peel the glue off and try again. That's the long length of the wall. You see, I'm just lining it up with a line which I've already drawn on it. You can see the line there under the parapets, and that's what I'm lining up with. So again, rapidly put the glue on, and then attach the piece. And press it firmly into place, checking that the line lines up with that walkway. Okay, and that's my, that's uh, a big piece of wall finished there. Now I'm going to join this longer piece of wall to a shorter piece, um, and there's a step between the two, so I'm actually marking out that step and cutting it out of cork. And I'm going to glue it to one side of the wall like that, and then the other piece will fit on top, so it will actually form a step and be useful for joining the two pieces of wall together.
again this is an extra piece that needs cutting it hasn't been cut by the CNC these little pieces are not not worth um, bothering about with the CNC um, it'll take a while to, to sort of draw them up work out exactly the size we need it's a lot easier to mark them as we're building the model so just checking that all lines up and then apply the glue and join the two pieces of wall together so there, there are a few things like steps and, and reinforcements that will need to be cut as you go along as you create these models corner gussets and things like that also need to be made so that's that's the wall basically finished well almost finished there's one thing we need to put a bit of um, a bit of filler in the in the gaps so that when we paint it we don't get a line so all these joints um, are going to leave a small gap and I'm just using PVA glue here to fill them because they're very uh, narrow lines but you can also mix a little bit of um, plaster or sand in there if the, if the gap was a bit bigger even sawdust as long as it's a fine sort of ground sawdust it would work quite well 